In this video, we will show you how to make one of the most ancient styles of arrows ever discovered by archaeologists. Arrows in this video will be based on artifacts found in the peat bogs of southern Sweden and date to the Mesolithic period, which is over 10,000 years old. These arrows were tipped with a series of microliths or microblades, which is an ancient Stone Age technology that utilizes blades taken from a stone core. The first step in producing these razor sharp stone blades is to establish a flat platform which will become the top of your core. You are then ready to remove blades along the side of the core using either a hammer stone or an antler billet. So here's the results of our reducing the core uh, obsidian that we had. The flakes started out kind of large and irregular shaped and as we continued uh, they reduced in size but they also became more uniform, elongated. I could have gotten a lot more uniform shapes if I uh, did pressure flaking along the edges. I just used a hammer stone and an antler billet just to get the basic concept. I'm still learning this uh, form of flint napping technology. I started out learning uh, with the biface technology where you establish a center line and then reduce mass on both sides. Um, there's flaking patterns all along the piece. With these blades it's just a single flake that is razor sharp on the edges. Here's a trapezoidal uh, flake, a flake that was ran on, on top of two other flakes. And this edge is the sharpest edge in the world. It's far sharper than any knife or surgical scalpel. Um, and as you can see as we reduce this core down to basically nothing left these tiny little blades that came off are called microblades or microliths. And um, thousands of years ago, uh, all across the world, they used these as tools for sickles, for cutting grass. Um, and also they tipped arrows with these. So I'm going to show you some of the most ancient um, arrow artifacts ever found that still have arrowheads mounted to the shafts um, using these microlith and microblade technology. Some of these ancient microlith tipped arrow artifacts were mounted onto a shaft of hazelnut. The first step in reproducing this style of arrow is to find a shoot of hazelnut that is arrow size length. The next step is to scrape off the bark and begin straightening the shaft while it is still green and flexible. Then set the shaft aside to let it season. To form the knock of the arrow for the bowstring, cut a groove using a stone flake. Archaeological evidence shows us that ancient people used several different methods for attaching these microblades to their arrow shaft. The most simple method was to simply attach the blade to the end of a blunt arrow shaft using natural black adhesive such as pine pitch glue or birch tar. These ancient archers not only tipped the end of their arrow with a stone flake, but would also attach a microlith blade along the side of the arrow using the same natural black adhesive glue. This method of tipping an arrow appears to be very crude, but was a simple way for ancient people to produce hunting arrows with minimal effort. Another ancient method of tipping an arrow is called a transverse arrowhead, which is a trapezoidal shaped flake with a straight tip. These flakes were put into a groove and secured with black adhesive such as birch tar or pine pitch glue. They were then wrapped with wet sinew to further secure them. This style of arrowhead was used throughout Europe between 8,000 and 4,000 BC. One example of a Mesolithic era arrow was discovered by archaeologists in 2009 in the peat bogs of southern Sweden. This 10 centimeter fragment of arrow was mounted on a hazel shaft and had a deep V groove running along the side which held four microlith blades. 
These four microlith blades were glued into the groove using pine pitch resin. An additional fifth microblade was found near the tip of the arrow and likely served as the arrow's point. Archaeological evidence shows us this style of arrow is used to hunt all kinds of large game. A skeleton of an oryx, which is an extinct species of wild cattle, was discovered with microlith blades found amongst its bones. I was not able to find a Mesolithic arrow artifact that still had its fletchings attached. So for this arrow, I'm going to use a Neolithic method of fletching the arrow. Examples of this ancient style of fletching arrows includes arrows found in the melting snow patches of Norway and the arrows found with the frozen body of Utsi the Iceman in northern Italy. Begin by covering the back of the arrow with natural adhesives such as pine pitch resin or birch tar glue. Then attach the feather fletchings with the heated glue and further secure the fletchings with a spiral wrapping of either wet sinew or stinging nettle thread. Now you have an ancient style of arrow that was used by Mesolithic hunters more than 8,000 years ago.